Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a magnitude 3.3 earthquake there, um, Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, what I noticed today looking at all the earthquakes is the Wasatch fault line. They're kind of hoping that if and when that fault line decides to erupt again, it's going to do it in segments. But see here, this is where the swarms have been going on. We got another one right here, 1.1. 1 .1. Um, this one here was a 1.0. And this one was a 0 0.4. Uh, 3.6 kilometers in depth, 10.2 kilometers in depth, uh, 3.6. I think I just said that one. And this one was what? Um, let me pull this down. 1.6 kilometers in depth. In the last week, there's been over 232 earthquakes in this area map. On Wikipedia, they have an image and they talk about the Wasatch fault line. See how it's broken into different sections. This here, to give an example of the location of that 3.3, which actually was much larger, maybe even a magnitude 4.0. Uh, yeah, we got, let's see how far out, all the way down here by Utah Lake, all the way up here, um, um, North Ogden, it says. The fault is made up of 10 segments, five of which are considered active. On average, the segments are approximately 25 miles long each, which can independently produce earthquakes as powerful as a magnitude 7.5 and then it goes into the different um, more active segments as of late it looks like most of these earthquakes have been on the weber fault segment that's one of the more active segments of the fault line a 2010 census has the population at 231,000 plus the utah.gov map has different segments of um, this area and it gives you an idea which way the fault line is moving so we got Weber and that looks like it goes all the way down to the uh, Provo area now going to the magnitude 3.3 how large could it have been here we got 4.06 4.06 3.76 not a 3.3 3.78. This is all automatic by the computer. Uh, 3.64, 3.58, 3.62, 3.76, etc. Statistically, the Wasatch Fault is overdue for another major earthquake. Experts have given it a 57 probability of an earthquake of magnitude 6.0 or greater. Well, they can have it as large as 7.5, then you always got the worry that it could unzip and all 10 segments could erupt um, at once. And they talk about the damage and people injured and people killed. And, um, they don't talk about being cut off from emergency services, but many buildings such as hospitals and schools are located directly on the Wasatch Fault representing the largest earthquake threat in the interior western u.s on the west end of salt lake valley is another fault zone called the west valley fault zone that spans nine miles recent trench studies have shown that the west valley fault tends to rupture simultaneously with the wasatch fault compounding issues as liquid faction landslides and flooding the two faults likely converge into a single fault deep underneath salt lake valley so we'll go back to this image of the salt lake city the uh, salt lake valley where all these earthquakes have been occurring there's the, the weber area yep yep so because of this cluster uh 232 in the last week and then these earthquakes here, which have been happening for quite a while prior to the uh, swarm of earthquakes we've been seeing down here in Utah, 
Yeah, I'm a little concerned, especially seeing how we've had an increase in in earthquakes around the world. Um, how prepared are you? You know, the problem with a lot in this area. Let me try and zoom in on this. Okay, so the problem is being cut off from emergency services, hospitals, ambulances, fire, police, etc. You got the main uh, 215 interstate, it looks like, going through here. They don't list where the hospitals are at. We got the airport, of course, but they don't list uh, the hospitals, the fire departments, uh, things like that. And then when the uh, cell phone towers go down, only thing that could be working would be landlines. Yeah, and how many people got those nowadays? So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Have a plan. Be prepared. That's all I can say. Be like the Boy Scouts. Always prepared. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.